Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, and Realtree. Day 33, November 29th. Still playing cat and mouse with Scarface down in this big bottom field. We're going to come in from the other side again this time. We've got a north northeast wind and it's supposed to drop off to be light and variable. And there's no tree stand scenario that I could come up with that would work down around that bottom. So we're going to get into that redneck blind again, keep all the windows closed. We're not even going to open them to let the condensation out because last night there were so many deer that came from all different directions around that blind that if we don't keep those windows closed we're going to blow that field before the action even really gets started. I thought about taking a decoy down, really had it in the back of my mind that that might be the play, but then I got to thinking about all those does and the fact that I'm sticking something out there that's just you know just enough out of the ordinary to those deer that I think the does are going to be skittish of it and if the does are skittish of that decoy and they move the whole pod of feeding deer further down the field, then my chances of pulling that buck over there are gonna be pretty limited anyway. So I think I'm just gonna hope that he's, that the does are close, that he's in there kicking around, we can get him within bow range just naturally, or maybe grunt him over uh, if that's possible. The, uh, this is it though. This is the last page in this chapter of the book because I can't hunt tomorrow. We've got some family activities and then the shotgun season comes in on Saturday and you can't hunt with a bow in Iowa during the firearm seasons. You can during the late muzzleloader season. You just can't hunt with a bow during the general shotgun season. So I've got about 16 days, uh, or I guess 17 days if you count my one day off and then I'll be back at it again. But you know, with some luck, you know, it always takes luck, but that's what we need tonight to get Scarface on the ground. That buck that just came in here was one of the two deer that I figured are shooters down on this field, and there may be others, uh, but he is the big eight pointer that we showed you pictures of a couple of days ago. So that deer and then Scarface were the two that I really thought would be our most likely targets or, or you know, hopefully targets down here. Pretty, pretty cool that he came through three hours before the end of legal shooting time, just a little bit after two o'clock. And we can hunt right up until just a little bit after five. So I, mean, I tried grunting at him once he got off the field. I didn't want to grunt when he was, you know, less than a hundred yards away. I just had bad luck with that. They just, they always seem to spook when I do that. But he looked, you could tell he kind of thought about it and then he went on his way. So I'm optimistic for the rest of the afternoon. You know, we're off to a good start. Plenty of time left. Killing a bunch of does with a gun. You have to 
to shoot the first one that comes out. You can't wait until there's a bunch, because the deer don't know where that sound is coming from. It looks a lot like uh, Scarface, but a four point. Oh, there's a bigger one just came out behind him. That is Scarface. Yeah. I like him the best so far. Yes. <laughs> Field full of shooters. there. The buck that we're after, the one that we've called Scarface. He was right out in the field, starting to come in our direction. And uh, something spooked a bunch of deer up to the right. I don't know what it was. And then this whole flock of deer started heading our way. Some of them ran right past the blind. And then the group that he was with went off the field to the left there. He's still standing in the brush at the edge of the field, um, kind of working his way away from the field right now through the brush, unfortunately. So with a half an hour left, that's not good. Uh, my guess is that we're done. Okay, so the big eight pointer that came out early, he was uh, 50 yards away, completely downwind. It was just too far of a shot for me to feel comfortable with. If he'd have been 40 and as relaxed as he was, I would have uh, taken the shot. But at 50, the arrow is just in the air for too long. And I mean, you can be a really, really good shot, um, make a perfect shot, and the deer can take a step or move or whatever. He came through, and that buck with the fork G3 uh, came through. Pretty cool buck, just too young. And then uh, the last two that just came out, one of them was Scarface, and then the other one was an eight-pointer, just a good solid eight-pointer. The deer are starting to relax again, but unfortunately all those bucks have worked their way through the brush. I'm watching them right now. They've worked their way through the brush, and they're heading off the field. So I'd say that we are going to be out of luck for the rest of the night, but who knows? Whatever happens here, uh, we've got a half an hour. We'll bring you that action here in the rest of the blog. I'm done now after tonight. So, uh, like I said when we first started, it's going to be a while. 17 days, roughly, uh, before I'm back in action. I know we're going to have some guys on the farm hunting does, though. So we maybe can bring you a couple of doe hunts here on the Winkies blog. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm going to be missing an action here for a couple of weeks. I appreciate you sticking with the blog and supporting it uh, through the season so far. And uh, we'll get back with you in a little bit. That's a good sign. Not that far away. 